<sighs> so before we get to the match, let's see if I'm lucky and see what we get from this legendary loot pack. <sighs> I don't have no dice, I don't have nothing to roll, but give me something good. Health regeneration 6.9, CC duration minus 6%. Gain 6, uh, 6 point plus 6 health regeneration per second while suffering from CC effect. Okay, that's an interesting one because you have minus 6%. Okay, so all the percentages are the same. It's 6.29, 6.29. Greetings, you have been wounded. Please select your injury from the following list. I like that. I like this one right here, ladies and gentlemen. And the rest of this stuff is completely useless. I would love to know what other people have gotten from there, so I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos and see what they got. But, hey, got something I actually use, and I'm happy for it. For the rest of this video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be commentating some of the match with Ombra. Check out this masterful gameplay. All right, guys, here we are with Ombra, trying to get her lore challenges completed and ranking up to 100. So right there, we have Wrath trying to hit us. I dodge out of the way, put down a sunspot. I level up the shock turret in case that Wrath runs back this direction. He's going to go ahead and get hit by that. But we see that Shayna and Oryx is getting attacked. Shayna and Oryx is a great character. They're a really good combo, but against Wrath, it's going to be kind of hard. So I put down the sunspot to heal them up, and I get that quick assist on Wrath. And above me, you guys are about to see that in the bubble, that was Ombra, the opposite Ombra on the other side of the field so i did get another assist so the match just started two assists already and here we go we're jumping ahead in the game again and here we are once again with wrath so wrath is going to be chasing me down throughout this whole entire match and i'm gonna make him pay for it so we have the opposite armor right there she kind of backs up so i'm in front of wrath wrath gets my health really low my overshield pops on so i run away i know it's time for me to back up but it's going to become very important because we just pause right there if you guys look in the background above Benedict's head that sunspot was still in place and that's very important to put the sunspots in a place that they can hang around for a long time because things like this will be able to happen. I love a shock turret real quick first. Boom. And I get an assist right there because the sunspot was out. Perfect. Great timing. Put another sunspot right there, ladies and gentlemen. Try to push um, Rendy back. That's going to keep as much of them behind this corner as possible and then we're gonna go ahead with the middle helix tree for leveling up that's gonna allow me to feed my sunspots which is gonna come really in handy right now with the jumping ahead so we just jumped ahead once again guys now I can heal myself and heal the sunspot at the same exact time because it's just putting power back into it and because I put out that earlier sunspot in that corner area again once again Wrath is dead again. My God, he just walks into that thing. And of course, I'm going to taunt. Of course, I'm going to taunt when I get a kill and you're nowhere near it, man. I just love it. So right there, guys, you see the score. One kill, three assists, 11 minions, and already got a bunch of shards. So here we go, guys. I need a backup because I'm already hurt. So I run away. Behind this wall right here is always a good spot to put an extra sun spot. I'm going to be able to fuel it back up to full health. And this is going to heal my teammates back up. And I'm going to get a quick assist on Wrath again. And as you guys know, I have not died. But I've gotten plenty of assists because this Wrath is overly aggressive. And oh, he's going to pay for it throughout this match. A lot of characters are going to play for it throughout this match. Now, Rendy right there is a very good character. All around, defensively, offensively. So I do got to be a careful of Rendy. So I put another sun spot right over there to help my teammates up then i go ahead and try to take out this ombra over here in the corner we do have ombra and oscar mike so it's gonna be ombra versus ombra and the oscar mike and my other teammates behind me so i do need to be careful of oscar mike with his grenade which he's just about to throw out right here so that is a fire on the ground so i just can't mess with that by walking into it but i woke up top right here and i see this other ombra right there bam he's down he just did not have enough freaking health to survive an onslaught from me i'm gonna put out another sunspot right here if you guys might be wondering why did you put it right here in the middle where everybody can see it? i want everybody to see because I'm about to go fight the thralls now by being right there people are not on the opposite team are not going to want to just run right into this area immediately because I'm down here I'm going to keep it fed up and then I'm going to jump down there and take out these thralls real quick and just do my thing so right there thralls are down you skip ahead a little bit in the video I'm just capturing it I'm trying to skip do something new guys let me know what you guys think I'm trying to skip ahead certain parts of the video to not have you guys see me just wasting time capturing thralls just keep the action kind of flowing let me know what you guys think so we got Oscar Mike up there he's trying to take out my thralls and me he's gonna go ahead and go invisible and run away he knows better than to run down here with me because i know how to fight oscar up close and personal especially as ombra now keep my sun spot right here ladies and gentlemen just keep it fed so even if oscar mike does eventually jump down right here he's gonna have to either contend with that by shooting it or run right through it and get hurt and if you guys check the mini map he eventually does have to either contend with it but it was not too much of a big deal because i had to come back over here and help out my other teammates i do have montana i do have alani they're all right here and i seem like they needed some help so i'm gonna go over here behind this wall keep 
keep myself alive. I'm looking at the minimap while I do this to make sure that nobody sneak up behind me. I have my thoughts to being able to protect me. And here's where we do something really kind of fun. I put the sunspot right up there. I see the other Ombra. She's going to try to put her sunspot out, but she does not. I already, I'm already feeding mine, so I already had the advantage from the, the get-go. And then she's going to get a little too close. Snope. There you go. Hit her with my staff. She runs away. She has almost no health left. We're going to sit right here by the turret. So I obviously can't sit here and fight this turret all day, but boom, go around the corner. Start feeding the sunspot. Now, this is a strategy that I wasn't too sure it was going to work because I just unlocked this ability very recently. So I was like, oh shit, it definitely does work. Keep feeding that sunspot. It'll be able to destroy that buildable, and that's going to give me some more EXP to level up my character. I am rank 4 right now, and by the time I end this match, you guys will see that I am one of the only characters that actually made it to actually rank 10. It's kind of funny that most of my team and most of the office team doesn't even get that far. But here we go guys, we're going to keep on going, feeding myself up. Now I'm not going to say this match I never die at all, but you're going to see I don't die much. And when I die, it's my own fault because I'm just having some fun. And you guys can see, it's going to switch from just a match starting up right now. And it's going to get crazy. I'm going to start getting double kills. It's just going to get really nuts. The sentry is going to get destroyed. It's going to get entertaining real soon. So right here, I'm just trying to sustain, trying to keep some damage on the sentry real quick. And here's where I made my first mistake. So boom. Uh, um, Wrath gets in front of me. He basically body blocks me. Like, I've had some friends who use that term, and I, I, it fits. He body blocked me. I couldn't run away, and then the opposite Ombra made me pay for it. So I respawn, and what do I do right when I respawn? I go for a Thrall Mercenary. The reason for that, that gives more pressure towards the other team, and gives, it, like, for me, when I get a Thrall, it makes me feel like I got an extra character on my team. It's just more pushing power. The, um, Shade and Oryx comes and helps me out, which I definitely appreciate. When you see your teammates having a little bit of struggle with a Thrall, which I definitely do, as my character does have some trouble in the Thralls in the early on as Ombra. If I was playing as Galilea or like Alani, it would be a lot easier. But like if I'm playing as Miko, I definitely would prefer somebody else help me out with the Thralls in the early stages. Now, right there, here we are with Wrath once again. Wrath is an extremely aggressive character. Boom, hit him with the Meteor Strike. He hits me up. Bam, he's dead. He pays for it. He was so aggressive and I made him pay for it. And of course, because he's been dying so many times, every time I kill him, I have to just like feel like I need to taunt. So here we are, guys. We're going to move on to help out my teammates once again over here in this situation right here right behind the wall again and i start feeding it i keep my back right to the wall i don't want nobody to be able to run up right on me so my back is facing the wall right now i am looking at the mini map and i'm feeding it that's what i'm doing that is what i'm doing when i'm playing the game right this moment now i see that my friends need some help so i pull ahead and use my staff push them away put back over here another ball we have the other Ombra. the other Ombra knows how to play the character too so she knows what i'm trying to do so she's going to try to stop me from doing that this is where i'm just going to have to play a little bit more careful because we bought both a Rendy and we got Amber right there. But if you guys check the mini map, you guys are gonna see another player come into the mix as well. Wrath. Wrath comes up, he hits up my other teammates, but boom, I push him back. I'm like, get away from my teammates. Because Wrath needs to be close to get his skill on. Boom, I send out the freaking meteor. This is just to keep Wrath and the other characters who are more melee focused away from my other characters. I just don't want them to be there that close. Boom, and there you go. That's another Wrath getting killed again. I can't taunt right there because the other opposite Amber is laying into me. She's trying to get rid of me. But boom, boom, just hit her away. I skip ahead right here, guys. I'll just, no, no, actually, I didn't skip ahead. I just moved back. I forgot. Sorry about that, guys. Um, the editing for this is, like I said, very new to me. I made a cut right there, but I didn't actually skip ahead. So, once again, let me know what you guys think of this type of commentary. This is something new to me completely. Never do stuff like this. So, completely new. But here we go, guys. We have the... Shepherd right here. The Shepherd has the ability to give overshield to the teammates and other minions. So I need to get rid of that as soon as possible. We have the other freaking Ombra over here. She is coming for me deadly right here. And I just put out a sunspot. She runs away. But it's just a good freaking time. And behind me, you guys will see the good old Marcus over here. Marquis, and he pays for it. He corners himself. He doesn't realize it. I put out the meteor. The meteor takes forever to come down, but once it comes down, it hits hard. Boom, and that's another kill right there. Catches himself into a corner. Some characters should just never have their back against a wall where they can easily be cornered or be too up close. So right here, I just try to push her back. Her shield is down, and here's where I just start having too much fun. If you guys see, I've been on a street. I've killed a 
Wrath of Kill Umbra. I just key kill Marquee and I just went in too hard. I, I really wanted to get that other kill on the other Umbra just to feel really good about myself. But, you know, I paid for it. I paid for it. That was a mistake of me having just having fun. My team is winning so well. But anyways, I respawn again. I skip ahead and I capture another Thrall. Like I said, I'm just trying to cut out the respawning stuff. Cut out some stuff that make the match seem a little too long. Just make it flow a little better. So, once again, I respawn, capture a Thrall, and we're going to keep it moving right here. I'm going to go back into the center area over here, guys, because it seems like everybody keeps on needing up right over here, and I see Wrath down there. I, I'm a constant looker at the minimap. Like, I was playing with some of my friends who are new to the game, and they're like, man, how can you see everything on the minimap? I'll wear glasses, man. And I'm constantly looking. Here we go once again, the meteor on Wrath. Wrath is so focused on getting that kill on Montana, but he's just not paying attention, and he pays for it, and I taunt at Wrath. I am sorry, bro, but just gotta look. You, you, I've seen this so many times with Wrath, because Wrath is one of those characters that, yes, people who are skilled with Wrath are viciously good. They are viciously good. Because many characters are some of the most powerful characters in this game. But, if you play, Wrath is one of the easiest characters to play at the same exact time. So anybody could pick up Wrath and just try to, you know, like, his ultimate is basically pop it, silence, and win. That's, that's how it works. Also, I just killed Ombra again, and I just captured the Thrall Mercenaries again. So, yeah, that's all since I just respawned. So, that's two more kills for me. And as you guys see, I'm at seven and two, and we have uh, four assists. So, that's what's rocking right here, and I have no problem with the assists. Here's where I go ahead and just feed up my Sunspot to try to heal up Shane and Aurox right here. He definitely seems like he needed the help. Well, she does. Shane and Aurox is actually, well, Shane is a female character. Aurox is a demon, so it's a it. There we go. Here, let's go to the major kills against some minions this is how you level up right here ladies and gentlemen boom that is seven minions killed at once and i get a ko on oscar mike ladies and gentlemen tell me if that wasn't lovely and then we go immediately at freaking <laughs> good old boy right here bye bye don't run from me this is where i was being really r risky but this is just me knowing the map i just need to get behind the wall right here i leveled up in the middle of all that so that was kind of risky i'm gonna go ahead and feed the sunspot again to heal myself up and if you guys look where i put the sunspot right here it's just so that it actually could be used as healing i didn't want it to be there for attacking this seems like if you put it right at that spot most of the opponents will just leave it alone and at this point, I did go ahead and level up to the point where I actually could use my staff as a long-range attacking ability. So that worked out really well for me. And here we are with Umbra trying to run away from me once again. But Shane and Orox is right there with me. So we're about to be able to surround her and she try to get her. And if you guys want to see something amazing. Well, here we go once again. Look at the mini-map. We have Wrath. We have Umbra. And I'm going to make Wrath pay again. He's never looking. That's Umbra dead. That's Wrath dead. That is a double kill. <laughs> I taunted twice. You, do you blame me? A double kill that quickly, man. I We are in their side of the freaking map, man. We are in their base right now. So here we go. I'm using my staff to send out as much fire as I can. It takes a while to build up. That's right now. I'm rocking it with 11 kills and two deaths. I'm playing much, very much as a team player. I see over here we got Oscar Mike and we got ourselves good oh, <laughs> Marquee again. And they have a thrall. So I back up. Even though we have Alani, I back up. I realize that the Thrall needs to not be in the way real quick. So with that Thrall right there, it's going to be kind of dangerous, especially with Wrath there too. So here we go. Wrath does not not focus on me. He's trying to do spin to win. I'm seeing, I'm, I'm attacking him for the back right there. Alani does her thing. She gets a kill. I, I really think that was my kill. I'm just, I'm just saying. I think that was my kill, but whatever. I'll take the assist for that. <laughs> here we go. We got Marquis. I'm going to make him pay for being by himself and trying to be so close up in my face, and he's going to die for that. Don't run away from me because remember, guys, my sunspot was right there it just expired but there you go another kill another taunt because that's what i do yes taunting in the match while you play is not always the best idea because you're wasting time where you could actually be attacking the sentry but at this point i was just so confident about winning and i knew i was going to rank up to a level 100 so i'll well, rank 100 that i was just so excited i was just so excited to play that i was like yeah you know what? i'm just gonna have some fun i'm just gonna have some fun so here's a little situation where i just wanted to try something so there's the temper turret right up here well, it was a shock turret not a temper turret um it's actually going ahead and attacking my sunspot i wasn't sure if i was gonna be able to feed it long enough to stay alive i'm just trying to check out the power of actually feeding the sunspot like what actually works best and this is just where i just don't know if like with Umber, let me know anybody else who plays Umber. Is the best thing to do is go for attack speed, attack speed, damage. Does that really matter for her? She's her her fighting style is so interesting that I don't know what's a 
I know healing power is definitely, you know, healing power is definitely good for her. I know that for a fact. But other than healing power, what do you do for her gear? Do you focus on her on healing received, attack speed, attack power? Let me know what everybody else does for their gear for Umbra. But here we go again. I come back around, and this is where I made my mistake. Here is where I paid for it, too. I jumped down. I did not, I shouldn't have did that, and then Wrath caught me off guard. Wrath just respawned. I saw him on the map, too. There was no way I was going to be able to get away. I couldn't feed my sunspot long enough, and he's going to get me. Remember, I, the, the chop turret was there, and I paid for that, and he taunts, and he deserves that. So I'm rocking with 12 and 3. So one of my kills is just me from being too aggressive at Umbra, and I respawned. This time, I didn't go for the um, thrall because I just look at the time on the map. I was just like, you know what? That one thrall is not worth it. But I did go ahead and get the elite minion right there. That's going to help out my team. And then I do see this Ombre over here trying to, you know, take care of these thralls, not paying attention to me. And I'm trying to make her pay for it. Now, here's where I feel like I need to start, like, get my aim up a little better when it comes to, like, you know, characters like Ombre that does have some type of ranged attack. Because I make her run away and have to get that assist from my other teammate. Like, I felt like I should have been able to shoot her and get that kill for myself. I come back here and I do help out Benedict get this thrall. It's not that I don't think Benedict could do it by himself, but I am a team player, so I see that Benedict is here fighting this thrall by himself. I'm willing to help him out, capture it, and then move on from there. So here we go. We capture the thralls, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead once again. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to go for the assault and try to win the match. So over here we have Umbra and we have Wrath again, and Wrath is gonna try to do the same thing he always does, and I'm gonna hit him with the staff. I'm gonna push him back, make him not really focus, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the assist. Another assist on Wrath. I can't tell you how many times I've killed him or assist him, but it's been a lot. Like I'm pretty sure you guys can count and tell me. Let me somebody tell me how many times have I been involved in him dying? Like it has to be a lot. Like me watching back this video is first of all making me see some of the mistakes I've made while playing and here's where i do something kind of interesting i put the sunspots on the steps just to try to keep the opponents like from walking up and i get the assist for it and it really worked out i was like you know what i wanted to try some new stuff like that's what i love i might be rank 100 and i don't know much about mobas i've never played a moba before I, like this is the closest thing i made moba like I understand why some MOBAs have like one map that they focus so heavily on because it's knowing where to be on the map, it's knowing where to put things and what characters can do what. That's why I keep switching characters, that's why I play Galilea, that's why I play Miko. And I like starting off with characters like a heal because at least if anything, if I suck at playing the character, at least I can heal the rest of my teammates. And Gearbox have actually announced the rest of the characters. So end of the match, I have 12 kills, 3 deaths, 8 assists. 41 minions and a score of 33 and as you guys will see right there i get the title battleborn and i level up to command rank 100 i have character rank 12 on her and i unlock a legendary loot pack and there you go with reading the weep this game is absolutely awesome I love Battleborn, and sometimes, guys, you feel like you actually earn a victory. I felt like that match, I earned rank 100, and as you guys see, five kill five players without dying, a bunch of awards right here, guys. Look how many sunspots I put out, 76 during that math, and I try to keep them fed to heal my team eights up. Let me know what you guys think of this style of video. Should I do more? Should I do commentaries like this for other games like Uncharted? Peace out. Thanks for watching.